Tell me about an overactive thyroid. What happens then? What's it like? What are the symptoms? How do we diagnose it? Overactive, frankly, is a lot easier to diagnose because it typically comes on more rapidly and it changes the way you feel a lot more intensively. People start feeling very hot natured. They get real nervous and trembly and sweaty and heart beats real fast. They get tired very quickly. They poop out just walking up half a flight of stairs. Because they're working too hard, their body's working their too hard. Their body's just being, being whipped by that high thyroid level. And, just poops out. And the thigh muscles, they are the ones that sort of give out first. People, I've treated some of the UT ball players that got overactive thyroids, and boy, their performance just drops like a stone. They can't keep up. It so just I'm, tires them out so quickly. So overactive, sweaty, fast heart rate. Uh, if the thyroid gland gets too active, does it do anything to the eyes, for instance? Well, the thyroid itself doesn't do anything to the eyes, but there's a, a type of overactive thyroid called Graves' disease. Name not because it puts you in a grave, hopefully, because old <laughs> Dr. Graves described it. Bad choice of names. But it, it, causes, it's, it causes the eyes, one or both eyes, to kind of get real prominent, sort of bulge out. They may get real puffy and, and, and red and itchy and teary. And sometimes you get double vision. But that doesn't correlate real well with the thyroid part of it. You could have a minimally abnormal thyroid and real bad eye changes, but most people that have real overactive thyroid don't have any eye changes at all. But the eye problems are very strange. We don't know why people get those. So I jumped off the wrong rabbit trail there. Let's go back to the overactive gland. Mm -hmm. What does the TSH do? What does it think when the gland is putting out too much stuff? Well, if it's the, the only thing the body can do is just to not stimulate. So it's the opposite. If the car is going too fast, you take your foot off the accelerator. So that thyroid stimulating hormone, it goes to zero. So the TSH would be low, 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 low. Yeah, very low. And the thyroid hormone that you measure would be? Be high. Be very, very high. Mm -hmm. so Everything goes opposite. Is, is that an easy diagnosis laboratory-wise? Is that sophisticated enough uh, to say, you've got hyperthyroidism, we need to do something about yes, it? Yes, very much so.